next thing we'll be doing three artists with three interesting facts. You have to match the artist to the fact. Uh, Miff, Joe and Phil, your artists are the flamboyant furry lipped frontman of Queen, Freddie Mercury, the leather clad lead singer of The Doors, Jim Morrison, and the tosser's tosser from Oasis, <laughs> Liam Gallagher. <laughs> you have to match them to their famous quotes, which are... Some of the worst mistakes of my life have been haircuts. Uh, I won't be a rock star, I will be a legend. And I refuse to dance, and I can't dance anyway, I'm not in a band for that. I, I, I don't think that Jim Morrison would actually say anything about haircuts. I reckon he, he, he'd be more the legend. You refuse to dance, that doesn't seem... Well, Freddie, Freddie danced. Yeah, Freddie was Freddie awesome. was a dancer. And I mean that just as a dancer. I'm not saying I'm outing Freddie Mercury right here. <laughs> <laughs> Freddie what? Mercury was gay, everybody. <laughs> Don't you guys have a song about that? Yeah, 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 we do have a song. Um, what uh, about uh, Freddie Mercury being a dancer? Not about being a dancer. The song is called Not All of Queen Were Gay. It's, it's favourite. <laughs> <laughs> How does it go? Just give us quite, a line. Um, give us a line. Uh, well, the chorus is Not All of Queen Were Gay. Okay, and the one that was was by. You can say, Queen are gay, you're only an eighth right. And then it gets kind of Did you find that was tripod projecting themselves? Well, it was basically re reliving the experience of <laughs> being at primary school and, you know, being into this band that, that, you know, the older kids were trying to bully you about. That's a gay band, mate. <laughs> when I see in Canada, it was like heavy metal guys going, yeah, I love Queen, man. Yeah. Queen of rock and roll. Yeah, and they, right. they found that Freddie Mercury was gay. They're like, no way. <laughs> so. What about you? Oh, what uh, do you reckon, Joe? Freddie Mercury, bad haircut. I'll go with you on that one. Yeah, I but, think so. Yep. And, and I mean, the Gallagher. Well, he would never dance and would never be seen to dance anywhere, I would imagine. No. The closest they get would be a headbutt. <laughs> <laughs> So, some of the worst mistakes in my life have been haircuts, Freddie Mercury. Okay. I won't be a rock star, I will be a legend, Jim Morrison. And I refuse to dance, I can't dance anyway, I'm not in a band for that. Liam. Okay, so you're saying in the order that they're already in there? In the order yep. they're in. All right. Ah, double bluff. <laughs> <laughs> double bluff, because now, now I'm wondering if that's right or not. Would they make it that obvious yeah. for us? I don't think they would. Yeah. Yes, they would. They're playing with my mind! <laughs> you became a bit um, William Shatner there just for a moment. Did I? Yeah. <laughs> Did, Did really? I become... William Shatner? <laughs> <laughs> the correct answers are, I won't be a rock star, I'll be a legend, was said by Freddie Mercury. Oh! Some of the worst mistakes in my life have been haircuts, belongs to Jim Morrison. Oh! And I refuse to dance, I can't dance anyway, I'm not in a band for that, was Liam Gallagher, so oh. one point. One point. Oh, well done. Yeah. Don't worry, I wasn't applauding very loud. <laughs> so sorry. I just I got competitive suddenly. <laughs> I will out check shirt you any day. <laughs> Alan Amanda Scott, your artists are inexplicably famous mother of three, Victoria Beckham, <laughs> arty American cornflake girl, Tori Amos, and booty shaking film wrecker, Jennifer Lopez. You have to match them to their quotes, which are. I judge people on how they smell, not how they look. I love Brazilians. Brazilians ought to be made compulsory at 15. <laughs> and I know I'm an acquired taste. I'm anchovies, and not everybody wants those hairy little things. This one doesn't seem too difficult to me. Because the, the Tori Amos one is easy to pick out, so you can get that out of the way. Which one's that? Which one's that? She's the I know I'm not for everyone. Tori Amos would never endorse the Brazilian. She's a feminist-y type like me. She's probably not quite as hairy as I am, but she would probably accept and endorse hairiness because she is about feminine freedom. Right. Not, not so much. much with the waxy waxy down and the painful part. So, um... <laughs> <laughs> you in your technical terms. Does <laughs> that hurt? I'm thinking of having my back done. Yes, it hurts. Imagine, um, having your hair pulled out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like... Maybe you can get a back Brazilian note. Yeah, just yeah. Like yeah a landing strip. The landing, landing strip, strip on right the back. The back. Is it technically a landing strip if it's all the way down your back? <laughs> it's a mine shaft. <laughs> It's not, it's not exceptionally funny. It's actually really sad. I have a terrible story. Um, I was in a salon just recently getting my nails done. And the girl who was doing my nails was like visibly distraught. And I said, are you okay? And she said, no, I'm not okay. I said, well, 
what's wrong? She said, a woman just came in right before you, a mother with her 12-year-old da daughter and wanted to get her a Brazilian. And, and, I, and I said no. And she got into a fight with the woman. Like, not a fist fight, but they, but they went at it with this little girl. Wow. And then she was all shaken up about it. And the woman left and took her kid, but I was just, like, uh, totally grossed out wow. just by the whole situation. I don't think I had enough at 12 for a Brazilian. <laughs> I don't think I knew where Brazil was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that Not on a map of Tasmania. <laughs> called Map of Tasmania that is next year going to be released as an international dance hit. I'm very excited about it. How does it go? Map of Tasmania? It's, it's going to be a DJ mix by this fantastic guy from the UK from the Young Punks, Hal Ritson. It's a the dance. Fast, it's like, a dance song <laughs> about being. <laughs> it's a dance song about being. <laughs> it's a little slower. <laughs> on the video they don't hear the song on the radio they don't know that we are the media they don't know that we start the media i just don't want to see what i'm making you ass is all pitsy and i'm shaking you walking down the street i'm the lady i'm showing off my mouth up this video <laughs> Amos is an anchovy. Tori, Tori. <laughs> Tori Amos is the anchovy. And, and then what? Victoria Beckham, I would say, is the smells one. And Jennifer Lopez is the uh, Brazilians. Do you think? I think. Oh, okay. okay. The correct answers are, I love Brazilians. Brazilians ought to be made compulsory at 15. Actually belongs to Victoria Beckham. Yeah. I know I'm an acquired taste. I'm anchovies, is an observation of Tori Amos. I judge people on how they smell, not how they look, goes with Jennifer Lopez. So you did get one right. Oh, one yeah. <laughs> At the end of that round, the scores are Mitch Joe Phil on six points, Alan Amanda Scott in front, seven points. Well done. <laughs> uh, each team will hear short snippets of songs. Without taking notes, you have to identify as many of those songs as you can. Alan, Amanda, Scott, mm. uh, you're up first. Listen carefully, here come your songs. Okay, uh, going backwards, Raspberry Beret? Uh, no, that was Little Red Corvette. Little Red, sorry, Little Red Corvette. Um, Bad Bad Le Leroy Brown was the second yeah. last one. Gold Digger. Gold Digger. Blueberry Hill. Blueberry Hill. Blueberry Hill. Oh, Ruby Tuesday. There we are. All right, let's have a listen back. <clears throat> Blueberry Hill, Fats Domino. Correct. Yeah. Ruby Tuesday, The Rolling Stones. Correct. Gold Digger, Kanye West. Bad Bad Leroy Brown, Jim Croce. Little Red Corvette Prince, five points out of five. Wow, that was, um, that was a pretty short round. Should we talk some shit? <laughs> Fifth Joe and Phil, it's your turn. Here are your snippets. Come on, baby. We skip the light, Fandango. She's trying to make a double run. Black or white was the last one. Yep. White room was in there. Yep. Um, Cause I'm white is shadow. White is shadow pale. 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 Yep. pale. Um, black is black. That's yep. it. Yep. And the second one? Uh, no one. Uh, Come on. White room was the third song. Yep. And then oh, I don't think anyone's got it, so we'll have a listen back to them. Uh, white is shade of pale. Procol Harum. Correct. Black magic black woman. Black magic. Santana black. was the one you missed. Oh. The white room by Cream. Black is Black, Belle Epoch. And Black or White, Michael Jackson, four points. Yeah. <laughs> At the end of that round, the scores are Miff Joe Filler on ten points, Alan Amanda Scott in front, twelve points. Yeah.